Maya is among the best females in wheelchair rugby in the whole world. I'm probably the fittest and strongest that I've ever been. I love watching her smash them. Representing New Zealand, it's a pretty cool feeling. Not long ago, I felt like I didn't want to be here. Just angry, depressed. looking at myself. I was in a car fire when I was 18 months. And I was in hospital for the parents. Something happened, I got a spinal infection. It made me paralyzed. My life changed when my mum died. I don't have anyone I felt comfortable to be around. I didn't really care about myself. Four years ago, Tusha became my carer and my life changed massively. I bet she would say I'm her Ching Chong bro. <laughs> With my Ching Chong bro. <laughs> it's a, uh, it's true. <laughs> I'm a little bit um, crack up. Hope there's no kaka. <laughs> she helped me with goals and helped me achieve becoming a New Zealand wheel black. I push her harder than sometimes she'd like to be pushed because I know she can. <laughs> Where do you want to be? When you get big. <laughs> when I get big, you're like... Yeah. <laughs> but you're a ninja. <laughs> Mine has achieved heaps in the last six months. Some of the things just in 2013 for her was achieving Will Black score. She's got a car. She's driving. She's training by herself. She was my bridesmaid which was a really, uh, meant a lot to me. She won Courage and Sports Award last year. Well, that was huge. Thanks, my Ching Chong and my family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one, go. Coach says I've gotten a bit better and a bit more confident, but I still need to work on a few things. Wheelchair <laughs> rugby is like American football, but for wheelchair users. I'm the only female in the national team. I see her growing more confidence and being able to speak a little bit more. Not a lot, but a little bit, and it's really cool. Do it heaps more now. It's cool for the ball. Whenever I have the ball, and before I get stopped, I need a think what I'm going to do next, not think about it when I'm stopped. How do you practice that? Yeah, that's right. No, it's hard. Hi. Hi, my neck. Hi. Tisha's married now. <laughs> got a husband and got their own house. How's your day? It was good. Me and my husband would like to have babies. Married now, so 
being such a blessing to have little mini butlers. <laughs> How's your day there? Good. Next year, we're going back up north. Me and my husband and my dad are moving back home to the homestead. Since my mum died, it's... I just keep thinking of home. And just really want to take my dad home. It was a hard decision, of course, with mice. But I feel it's time for her to <laughs> spread her wings and become amazing, more amazing. And it's time for me to take care of my family. I know she's really sad. She just doesn't really say much about it at the moment. Standards. Not that good. All the other teams have lots more money than we do. How confident is the team that it's gonna? Pretty confident. If everyone trains hard and does what they need to do. She's training all the time. Even when she's sick, she tells herself, no, I can't be sick, I have to, I have to go to the gym or I have to go for my push. And I think, man, if that was me, I'm like, no, bro, I'm not going for a push. I train six days a week. Some days I don't even want to get out of bed. But I just get up and Go train. Got the Canada Cup coming up soon. We all got an email. See, congratulations, guys and girl. Sometimes sore, but always tired. Just get random pain every now and then. Oh, so sore. Mai's had a little bit of a luge accident in Rotorua. Got her checked out properly and they found uh, a tumour growth on her pancreas. sort of tumour on my pancreas. Cancer. Yeah. The old mice of how she would have been able to deal with it then and this new mice dealing with it now and trusting herself, not getting caught in that worst case scenario battle in our head and focusing on one point at a time. See, so I have to have the biopsy and however that, whatever it comes back, depends whether I have to have surgery or not. Mostly when I'm in bed at night time. Mm. 
What emotions do you have? Do you feel angry sometimes? Sometimes I just think, why me? And I just think, uh, I should be grateful I'm still here. When I'm alone and I've got no one to dry my tears, I hear a voice crying now. In my need, he said, put down your troubles and take these keys I'm offering you. Unlock the door and finally be freed. You hear my words, but you don't hear. sunshine say goodbye to your dark days and let the light shine through always so we're off to see the specialist today he's awesome um, just to find out the results of mice mice's pancreas um, yeah, we're a bit nervous, but we're trying to stay positive to deal with whatever it is we're dealing with. Big thing about this is it's not in our control. Especially seeing mice make so much progress. A big thing like this adds a whole different dimension of pressure and I'm just doing my best to be able to support you. Telling all right. Um. Just trying to think about other stuff. And what's Latisha been saying? He says heaps of <laughs> nice stuff. Hey, Shawshank. <laughs> Already? Hey. Are you nervous? Oh, I won't get nervous till I get to the hospital. Come on, let's go. Whoa, who could do this? It's quite scary for mice because a lot of their family have passed away from cancer. I know that it's a real hard mental challenge for her. Hi there. Come on in. You are right there? So, Maya, one of the things I wanted to um, talk to you today about was the, what kind of tumour this is. Um, so this is, this is the, uh, the pancreas, like that. It's the shape, looks like a tadpole. <laughs> um, and the tumour itself is, is about that big. This is life size. And uh, we have a choice to make. Uh, we're either going to um, try and take out just this segment of the pancreas. Uh, that might prove quite difficult, and it's more likely that we'll need to uh, take all of that out, even though that's a small tumour. So that operation is, is, takes about six or seven hours. I've discussed this with the other oncologists and other surgeons here at our, our meeting, and we all agreed that if there are things going on in your life, um, this could be deferred, not forever. We'll still need to face up to having to do something on this, but we, we need to plan surgery for it. So I can wait till after August. What's in August? Uh, World, World Champs is in that, Denmark. Is that in Denmark? Is there something in Canada before then, I think, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. that's same. So when would you be finished all of that, these responsibilities to rugby? End of August. I think we can wait uh, until after that, all right? All right, this side. Still up this side. Coming to your back, Billy, got your back. I got the back. 
I've got the other back. You got that? You got that? I've got the side. Being oh, diagnosed this. with that, the type of cancer that she has, she hasn't really even talked to the boys about it. She doesn't want pity. I've got this line. I don't. She doesn't want it to affect the way they look at her or affect um, her ability to train. So she's sort of just spoken a bit to a bit about it to a couple of the boys, I think mainly Gavin. So how are you feeling, Myers? How's how's the body and the, the tumour and the biopsy, what's come back after that? Um definitely got to have surgery, but I can wait till afterwards. Oh, okay. So yeah. So there's a positive there? Yeah. That's awesome. to Canada for the Canada Cup. This is our last training before we go to Canada. Just need to keep working together as a team. Keep training hard. Mize is going to be in Canada for 10 days, which is probably the longest we've um, been apart. How do you feel about travelling without your change on? Happy years? <laughs> I don't like it. You don't have to be tough all the time, did you know that? Yeah, it's scary that you have to go alone, but you still do it because you love rugby and that's, that's, that's beautiful. So you want to get back, eh? Be strong. You say they're not Akatani is made of, okay? Really nervous because she's all the way on the other side of the world. I miss her heaps. Yes. Her biggest thing is herself, I guess. Like she's her worst critic. But yeah, just every single day, we'll ring her before her game, and we'll just let her know that we're thinking of her. And when there are things that are happening over there that she gets quite frustrated about, just talking about them trying to turn it into something funny or <laughs> something positive for her to feel happy again. How are you feeling about this game? Yeah. Is it an important one? Yeah, we have to win it.
Maya's had an interesting first day, I have to say. Yesterday she just looked nervous as hell before we started. Uh, but she got on there and once she was into the, into the rhythm, into the game, you know, she does what she does well. And then I think she realised that and just got into the groove of it. She still doesn't have that confidence. She doesn't believe in herself. Uh, she doesn't see how good she is, uh, like we do. Uh, but the rest of the boys just have faith in her. Strong lady. Great job. Up and down. 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 Up and this is my third year. Third year? Yeah. On the national team or just in general? Uh, just in general. Wow. <laughs> Pushing. Really good. I could only imagine what she was thinking about while she was in Canada because she had a surgery as soon as she got back. So there would have been a lot of things weighing on her mind. Yeah, but she would have just left it all off the court and gone hard, I could imagine. So, we've got like less than one week till surgery to go. No, it's like seven sleeps. Sorry, Mai's like heaps of Mai. <laughs> yeah, it's just a little bit. Not intense, but just a little bit more to carry this week. Here, my boy. Cheers. Table. <laughs> it was something that might said when we were waiting for an appointment. I sort of had an insight of what it would have been like for her when she was younger. And I pictured her mum by her. And I suggested to my, could I be there while they operated on her? And she said, oh yeah, my mum used to be there. And I thought, well, you know, it's something that I'd want to do for her. I feel like calm about everything. I feel really positive. Yeah, we've had a good morning. It's just a big waiting game. Um, but I get anxious and, and we came prepared to camp out at the hospital all day. I think it's about between five to eight hours the procedure. with the surgery. John said it was a really a hard procedure and it went as expected. Mai's is in recovery and um, she's just doing really well. I just want to help her because she really needs, needs me more than ever. I just try my best to make her happy, lift her spirit. She's really doing really good. 
I hope that shows my eyes there. It doesn't matter where I am. That I'll always be there for you. Doctor doesn't really say much. Said I was allowed to start training, but no contact, and I'm not listening. She's gone a little bit more confident. She's like a little light of inspiration to a lot of people. And although the challenges come or the trials come, just those little steps of knowing that she can get through it. She'll need another caregiver. <laughs> but I always tell her that the only thing I won't be here doing would be doing the caregiving things, the friendship and the sisterhood that we've had for the last four years will still be there. Come on, Nano. No way. I just love that girl so much. <laughs> and there might be a lot of people out there who claim to be her number one fan, but sorry, get in line. <laughs> Cheers, my bro. Table. Thank you for everything you've done for me. Thank you. I miss you.